Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been over a week since I last done a video. I've not been feeling well lately but I'm feeling a lot better now and what I'm going to show you today is a Blu-ray that I got and a 4K that I got. Obviously you can see the background there, it's going to be something Halloween related and it is, it's the 4K version of Halloween 2018. Uh, I got it last week but like I said I've not been feeling too well lately and it goes nicely with the Halloween 2000, sorry, Halloween 1978 4K. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go through some of the special features and what the cover looks like. Now the Steelbook did come out as well, and I'm not a fan of Steelbooks. I think Steelbooks are saturated at the moment. The, there's a Steelbook for every movie coming out, so Steelbooks aren't very limited or special anymore. I think slip covers are more special to me now, um, so I don't really like slip, eh, sorry, Steelbooks. Anytime I get a steelbook, there's either a dent on it or a scratch on it, and I'm very OCD, so I tend to just avoid steelbooks. But unfortunately, this one, I actually prefer the steelbook over this one because this part here includes 30 minutes of bonus features. This isn't a sticker, this is actually in the actual slipcover itself. It looked like a sticker on the, the website, but unfortunately it's not. So I don't like that about it, but that's the front cover. There's the spine. My eyes. Uh, and then this is the back. Let me just focus on that. There we go. So I'll show you the back more. I'll read out the back to you. The inside artwork is just the exact same, so no point in opening that just now. Uh, I did promise you guys, a lot of people have been asking me to do a live commentary um, for this movie, and I will do that. I've not got the time at the moment, but I'm going to do a live commentary of me talking throughout the movie, giving my thoughts throughout the, the movie. You're not going to see the movie, obviously, when I'm playing it, and you'll probably not hear it. You'll just hear me talking a lot of rubbish. Uh, but I will get that to you eventually, guys, so there will be a live commentary coming. Uh, but the Blu-ray, you don't really get special features on the, the 4K. Uh, all the special features are on the Blu-ray. Uh, but the special features are deleted and extended scenes. I've not seen any of them yet. I know there's some being posted on YouTube and stuff, but I've not watched any of them because I want to watch it myself. Uh, maybe through the live commentary as well. So, deleted and extended scenes, uh, back in Haddonfield making Halloween, that will be interesting. The original Scream Queen, that will obviously be to do with Jamie Lee Curtis. The Sound of Fear, Journey of the Mask and The Legacy of Halloween. Now, I was very excited to get this Blu-ray a few months ago because I, myself, was supposed to be featuring on the special features of the Blu-ray. I was contacted by Universal and I'd done an interview for them for the special features of the Blu-ray. Uh, for Blumhouse and Universal. Unfortunately, I didn't make the cut of the Blu-ray or the 4K. I know that for a fact because I was contacted. Uh, but it's not all lost yet because the interview that I've done, along with a couple of other YouTubers, um, the interviews that we've done could still feature on another horror Blu-ray in the future. Um, because it's not Halloween related, it's just horror related. So I'm looking forward to checking out some of them. It could be on the Happy Death Day to you, Blu-ray. It could be on the Us Blu-ray, I don't know. So look, I'm looking forward to seeing it eventually, if it ever comes out. But it's not on this, so that's... I was a bit disappointed because my, ha my, my channel is very Halloween centric and it would have been fitting for me to feature on the Halloween Blu-ray in the UK. But it wasn't to be. And another Blu-ray that I picked up recently was... Night of the Demons Part 2. I love the Night of the Demons trilogy. I even love Night of the Demons 3 and the remake. A lot of people hate those movies, but I love them all. Uh, this is one of my favourites, obviously, Night of the Demons 2. Uh, it was only ever available in the US, and one of my friends on YouTube, Lee McCoy, aka Drum Dums, uh, he didn't even know it was out in the US, so I sent him my US copy because I knew I was getting the UK version, and this is it here. Um, I've just noticed at this moment in time, looking at it, I've not opened it yet, but her eyes are, you can't really see that there, but her eyes are shiny and it's a matte cover with shiny eyes, so her eyes pop out on this slip cover. This is from 88 Films, by the way. 88 Films are my favourite, I think. Um, everybody loves Arrow, and Arrow are great with the packaging, there's special editions, they're limited editions, but for me, being a, a, an 80s horror kid, 88 films bring out the best titles. I know this is a 90s movie, but 88 horror, uh, 88 films bring out the best titles for me. All the titles that they bring out, I love 9 out of 10 of them, whereas Arrow, maybe about half of them. So this is an 88 films release, so Night of the Demons 2. Uh, the back cover is pretty simple, there's not much to show you there. That's my ugly face. So that's the back cover. The special features, let's see if there is any. Uh, 
hasty presentation, optional English, interview with Steve Johnson, he's the prosthetic and prosthetic makeup and special effects artist, uh, Party Hearty, an oral history of Night of the Demons 2 and the 90s and noughties career of Ozploitation icon Brian Chen Trenchard Smith, limited edition booklet, notes by film journalist Dave Wayne and Matt Burdowitz and a trailer. So not a lot of special features, but I wasn't buying it for the special features. I was buying it for the movie itself because it's one of my favorite um, horror movies. Uh, and it's one of my favorite 90s horror movies because the 90s, especially in the mid 90s, 1994 this came out, I think. Um, in the mid 90s before Scream, there was just a lot of rubbish horror movies that were coming out. So this was a pleasant surprise for that to come out during the rubbish uh, era of horror movies. So that's all the pickups I've got recently. Like I said, I've not had a chance to do anything lately. I've not been too well. So I've got Halloween 4K and Night of the Demons Part 2. But look out for more videos coming soon. I'll get some more uh, movie reviews coming out and some news updates on horror movies that are coming out. But look forward to them as well. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching again. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.